okay so so far we have seen how to estimate the parameters beta naught and beta 1 uh, using the method of least squares and also how to get the standard errors of those estimates however if you recall our discussion from module 2 to estimation there we had said that our favorite method of estimation is going to be the maximum likelihood estimation method so now we are going to see how we can implement the method of maximum likelihood estimation for simple linear regression and uh, if you think a little deeply you would also realize that although in our definition of regression simple linear regression we had explicitly assumed that the distribution of y given x is normal uh, with the mu changing with different levels of x but constant variance because of the homoscedastic assumption although we had assumed the distribution to be normal we had never explicitly used that assumption in the method of least square based estimation in maximum likelihood estimation method we are going to use this normality assumption very explicitly now recall if you have a random variable y which belongs to the normal distribution with two parameters we know that the normal distribution has two parameters mu and sigma square then the probability density function f of y given the two parameters mu and sigma square is nothing but 1 upon sigma root 2 pi exponential of minus half y minus mu by sigma whole square so this is the pdf normal gaussian distributions probability density function this is the expression for gaussian probability density function uh, this we are going to write but now note that our y is not just y we are interested in the conditional distribution of y given x so therefore this conditional pdf would be given by f of y given x equal to x and sigma remains sigma y minus mu but note here we have used mu of y given x and that's why we can write this as beta naught minus beta 1 x and this of course comes from the definition of simple linear regression so mu y given x is written as beta naught plus beta 1 times x and that we plug in here instead of instead of this mu instead of this mu here we write mu y given x right this PDF this probability density function is what we are going to use in the method of maximum likelihood estimation so recall from our definition of the likelihood function it's the joint probability of the entire sample so y1 y2 y3 to yn given theta and theta is equal to now we have three parameters beta naught beta 1 and sigma square so given these parameters the joint probability distribution of the whole sample is by definition the likelihood function now here if we assume that they are independent this joint pdf becomes equal to product of marginals right if they are independent so if they are independent the joint PDF becomes the product of marginals and therefore we can write this as a product of all the distributions now but note here that for every i the distribution will be different so this is no longer a, an iid case this is an independent but not identically distributed case why is it not identically distributed because the distribution is changing at different levels of x at every i the distribution is different how is the distribution different not in the variance but in the mean so mu y given x is what changes at every point i 
therefore we have a case of independent but not identically distributed uh, and we can write the likelihood function l of theta as the product of the marginals and the marginals are written as nothing but a simple normal distributions pdf except that now we have here mu y given x so here we have used mu y given x is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 times x in fact little x it should be little x because i have used x equal to little x so that's what we have also used in this expression so this is my likelihood function so once we have the likelihood function in our discussion in module 2 we had noted that it is convenient to work with the logarithm of that function so instead of using the likelihood function little l of theta we will be using the logarithm of that function which is capital L of theta and when you plug in the expression for little l of theta note that the product has changed to a summation this is the advantage of using the log function and when we expand this summation term we end up having three main terms like so now what we are going to do with this remember our goal is to maximize the likelihood function but because log is also monotonic so maximizing l of theta would give you the same output as maximizing little l of theta so this is what our goal is and in order to maximize any function we are going to differentiate it and set it equal to zero so note here that the first term is a constant and therefore when we differentiate it it's going to give us zero in the second term what happens when we assume that sigma square is constant if sigma square is constant then the second terms differential will also be equal to zero because this is also a constant term and this assumption is not incorrect because right from the beginning we have used the homoscedastic assumption right so sigma square we have always treated as a constant so therefore the first two terms become zero when we differentiate them the third term is what we have now in the third term the this coefficient is constant essentially maximizing l theta would be the same as maximizing 5 times l theta or 6 times l theta or 127 times l theta any constant it doesn't matter so therefore what we need to maximize is essentially this term with the negative sign in front of it so maximizing capital L of theta would be equivalent to and let me write that down maximizing L theta is equivalent to minimizing summation yi minus beta naught mi minus beta 1 xi beta naught plus beta 1 xi is nothing but yi hat right so yi minus yi hat whole square because there's a negative sign so we are maximizing log likelihood function if we don't use any sign then it is minimizing this term and this term is our very we are already familiar with this term right we have used it quite a few number of times earlier what is this term this is nothing but the residual sum of squares the rss and therefore in simple linear regression mle is nothing but equivalent to mls It is the same function that we are minimizing 
minimizing RSS is the same as the method of least squares, which is nothing but equivalent to maximizing the log likelihood function. So for simple linear regression, MLE is exactly equivalent to method of least squares. Right. So now that we know that MLE is equivalent to MLS, we are going to get the same estimates of beta naught hat and beta 1 hat as we had found in MLS. So when we set these differentials equal to 0 and solve these equations, they are exactly the same equations. You will get exactly the same equations as in the method of least squares. And of course, there will be a third equation for getting the estimate, MLE estimator of sigma square. So when we differentiate this log likelihood function with respect to sigma square, note that the second term now stays. So we have three equations, three unknowns. We can solve these equations. Note that we get the same expressions for beta naught hat and beta 1. Here we see that we get the same expression as method of least squares. So beta 1 hat is sxy divided by sxx. And in order to get the MLE estimator for sigma square, we are going to use the third equation. And we see that it leads to the same expression for the natural estimator as we had obtained in the method of least squares. So the natural estimator is of sigma square hat is RSS divided by N. However, this estimator is not unbiased. So in order to make it unbiased, we divide by correcting for the error degrees of freedom. So therefore, sigma square hat becomes RSS divided by N minus 2. Again, the same as MLS.